now we're putting this diamond tread on, uh, wrapping it around the front. I already put it on this door. You can see it here. You can see how much that sets that door off. All it is is if, remember in uh, taking the trim off video, I told you save that, that wrap around aluminum cladding and you can use that as a template because the holes are already drilled in the trailer. So instead of drilling new holes, you can use your old cladding and get this, cut this to size, and then you can put it on the back. So I actually have these holes are already drilled. I just have to be sure they line up and wrap this around. It's just a flat piece. I haven't got this rolled or anything. So just flat. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and rivet this. Here we go. As it turned out, I needed my old riveter. The, the jaws that grip in there, they were worn out, so I actually had to get a new riveter, which these are pretty cheap. And I've had the other one for a year, you know, and done several trailers, so it's probably time to, to get a new one anyway. And that's all I know. So we'll keep working this, working this around on the top, and then I'll come around and I'll match it on the bottom. Don't line up perfectly. You just press it up there, and then I've got my 3 16 bit. You can actually push it up against there. sure it lines up perfectly. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, I drilled that out. Put this in there. do the same thing. You'll see whether they line up or not. And you keep working your way around and when it's all done, you've got this nice, beautiful, shiny aluminum cladding. All right, now I want you to see what a difference this makes. I mean, look at that. That's a big, big difference. All right, so you want to know, you're saying, hey, I'd like to reuse that, that curved trim on the front of the trailer, but it's all oxidized and weathered and maybe has paint all over it. How do I, how do I fix that? Well, here's what you do is you get your trusty cut brush on your grinder this has been used a lot and then you're going to go through and you're actually just going to brush this and it will create a nice a nice satin finish on there that actually is shiny so i'll show you how to do that it's, this thing will it'll jump around be be very very careful nice shiny finish on here all right as opposed to that's what it looked like before so you keep doing that you do it in the inside do it on all your surfaces and then you can put it on the trailer this is how you redo 
and reuse some of this trim. You can do it for any of the trim on the trailer. You just put a brush finish on it is what I call it. But what that is is using this cut brush to actually brush the aluminum to where it's a nice bright finish. trailer I've got the other side as you can see that sucker is bright it's already riveted on there and it really sets off so you do that especially with these curved pieces because they're really hard to recreate so I always like to use them if you're got a trailer that doesn't have these or they're jacked up then I would suggest not going back with that because that's going to be really hard to recreate it's a Z trim is what that's called um, and it's bent into shape so anyway that's how I that's how I renew the trim and then put it on there so I hope that helps answer some questions you might have about trim so today I want to show you how to put install these uh, butterfly vents onto your trailer. The same method for riveting applies to all of your trim. Um, we're going to use a pop riveter and rivets and this. I'll show you how to do that. Stay tuned. Okay, you want to pull. These come with some plastic on there. Just pull that off. It's protective plastic. Now we're going to use a... Remember when we drilled out the center of the rivets, we use a 964th drill bit. Now we're going to use a 316th because these rivets are 316th wide. So we've got a 316th bit. We actually want to drill this out. sure and these butterfly vents will probably have to be drilled out just a little bit too. It's, aluminum is very soft and easy to work with. Just don't drill into your hand. All right. So now if you'll notice you can test it. That's a tight fit but it will go. They'll fit in there. So, you get the right size, uh, yellow tip, these tips are coated, there's a band around here, this is actually the yellow tip that I have in there. So, you put it in there like that, and let's put the handle down. Alright, so it's in there. This is pulling that stem. Now it's popped. See that? The stem is actually in there. This one will fall down in there. See? Boop. Now it's down in this catch deal. And you have a rivet that is on your vent. And you can adjust and go around as you need. You can water out the hole with the drill if you need two more, but that's essentially how you put a rivet on something. So let's put this bottom one on. 
sometimes it takes a little coaxing to get it in there. Once you get it in there good enough, it'll kind of pull itself in there though. There you go. And then I'll put the side ones in and we'll be done. And we'll have a functioning, see that? Functioning butterfly vent. All right, sometimes these handles can be tricky. Let's find another piece. This is the handle, it's keyed to be able to lock. You can also lock it on the inside. So these handles, this long part, it just goes through there just like that, okay? And on the inside, that goes like that. You wanna be sure that your latch matches up with your striker. Which, in this case, it does not. Which means I'll have to add a striker to this which is no big deal. You know, if this, if this was up the other way, this would have worked. But because it's like this, it'll still be all right. I'll be able, I'll still be able to make this work. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the door and then I'll move my striker. You can see that striker is really small anyway. So I'll just tack on uh, one down here that will line up. And it's really no biggie. And we'll put rivets in here and rivets, I'll drill holes for rivets on the inside. And we'll be done. I'm just going to need this. It's almost lined up. So this is basically just going to be moving it just a hair. Not, I was not wanting to go. go our handle is rock rock solid now we gotta line it up this up on the inside now I'll get at least one or two holes on the top and the bottom um, to make this work all right and so basically this will be on there I'm gonna have to pick up on it to make it work, but and I'll drill one hole in the top and one hole in the bottom. And just so you know, these will kind of pull themselves in. There we go. That one. Do this bottom one. Okay. Let's suck her all slide. 
slide right in there. And it does. So now we'll pop it on and we'll have a functioning. Have a functioning door handle again. See that? That's solid. It's not going anywhere. And now when you pull on that, see? Turns nice. Okay. Now, once I had my kicker there, then we'd be you'd be able to put that, close that, and it'd lock right in place. It's gonna look really nice. Especially once I get the diamond plate on there. And that's it.